I think you can see myself over there. Hang on. I don't I need it. Okay, we are rolling. We are rolling. This is Gary. I think you can see me in the window in front. This is the mic. Brompton. I need to make the strap a little tighter. Especially since I have this camera on my head and extend it a little bit. Uh, I am in Madrid. This is the sort of the Latina section of West Madrid. Pretty close to the Royal Palace of the Palacio Real. And it is. 8.27 a.m. on Thursday, the 25th of May, and here we go uh, for a little tour of Madrid. And we are going to try to look at a variety of places, basically what it's like cycling here. And we start off on a little street back here in this section and Madrid is hilly. My two-speed Brompton is not the best for this but it will have to do. So we're coming out here and so I think this is Bailen. Right turn only. There's another cyclist coming. So I'm going to get in here. You know how this got to get? Go across the aqueduct. So, you can see I am in a lane that says 30 kilometers bicycle integrated into traffic. This is, I have another cyclist coming up on my right. He's on a BC Mod bike share electric bike. <laughs> on my right is a bus lane, <laughs> which is used also by taxis, registered licensed taxis, not ride share, and motorcycles. I am in the 30 kilometer an hour or 19 miles an hour limited speed I'll call it the 30 bike lane and to my left is a lane that would have a 50 kilometer an hour 31 miles an hour limit by law I must ride in the center of the lane. <coughs> and I am going to go here, avoid the tunnel. To the left, the Palacio Real. Real. As you can see there, incredible place we were yesterday. Now this sort of changes to a single lane. Again, I'm required to control the lane. And I think I'm going to just wander around a little bit. So I am going to talk about the infrastructure here in terms of grades. A plus, A, B, C, and C minus. And that may or may not be useful, but we'll give it a try. I would call this a C, because it's two lanes, as I'm required to control the lane. <coughs> Any same direction traffic is going to have to go my speed.
Now, Old Madrid has lots of brick streets like this, and many pedestrian areas. So I have a car behind. Okay, this is be a C. If it's uphill, I call it C minus. But that's really not important at this point. I do want to get out to uh, a bigger road. So we will do that. And I have a car behind me. Nobody can get by me because it's one lane. And I have to follow the blue arrows here. And this speed is definitely 30 K. Looks like I can get out here. This looks like it's Segovia. I'm not sure. No, it isn't. Okay, now here I have, I'd call this a B because there's no priority lane for buses, motorcycles, and taxis. But there is another lane going in my direction for uh, but now that's gone so this turns into a C now because I'm controlling this whole lane notice there is a counter flow lane here this must be Calle Mayor I can see yes Calle Mayor Lots of unsignalized crosswalks. But your drivers are pretty good at respecting those. Now here I would run into the Playa Bayo. No, this is uh let's take a look at this. This is La Puerta de Sol. Here's their boulder traffic calming. So we'll go along the edge of this. I believe that this is open to vehicles, but it's uh, mostly a pet space, certainly the plaza itself. I watch here, they're not really looking for traffic here. Here's the Apple store up ahead, guy wandering across. So this is basically being used as a pet space. Here's the Apple Store, street cleaner. I am going to go on this side. And uh, head over toward the east side of town and hopefully run into some bigger traffic by the rail station. Nothing much happened in here in terms of traffic. Policia is there. And since I am a little bit concerned about video working, just wanted to check my all right. Yeah, we're running. We're running. I'm using the microphone off of a Trex open run headset behind a cat ear. So hopefully that sound on Bluetooth is going into the Garmin 360 Verb camera, which is on my head suspended by about four or five inches by a little boom. There's the boulder traffic calming. 
Okay, now I'm going the wrong way, obviously, here. So, I am going to make a right here and get in with the traffic and see how this works out. So again, now we have the the Bicicarril 30, 30, which is what I'm on, ready for this pedestrian crossing, and here we go. So this would be, I'm calling this a grade B. No priority for taxis. Taxis will be slowed behind me, or motorcycles, or buses, obviously. I think I'm gonna go down this way. Any single lane street, or any street with a single lane and going one direction will be in the city, 30 kilometers an hour limit, nominally. Uh, really, that only works if there's a cyclist in the traffic stream, as I am now. And my understanding is that the e-bikes in Spain and really all of Europe are limited to what we call a type one, no throttle, and uh, they have limited to just 25 miles an hour, 25 kilometers, which is just about 15 miles an hour. Okay, now this is interesting because now we do have a priority bus, motorcycle, taxi lane, plus the bike lane, but no thing on the right. So, what do we call that? Is that a grade B? I guess so. Okay, here I have a warning about pedestrians. I can go through. And now we got some real, oh, look at this. This I have not seen before. This is interesting. This is the first separate facility I've seen after three days of cycling in Madrid. So I'm glad I ran into this because this is the method that uh, the type of infrastructure they apparently are not continuing with. And in fact, I saw a little TV uh, segment about puntos negros, black points in the bike system and they included these two ways with motorists right hooking cyclists so which street am i on i didn't know this even existed huh here is the bike share electric bikes bc mad uh having trouble getting that to work for me software now let's see how this works in getting around this Norieta, as they're called, the huge traffic circle. Now it says, I want to go, let's say I want to go straight across. What's going to happen here? I'm not sure. I think I'm going to be out in the traffic pretty soon. In Europe, you always have to look near side to see where to go. I need to look here. You never look across the intersection at signals. Prado? I'm not sure. Hopefully the uh, camera is recording GPS. Okay, now it's blinking, so I have to watch the pedestrians, but I can go. Now, where is this going to dump me? I want to go there. There's no place here. Actually, let me... I want to go down here for a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I got to stop here. I may have made a red on right, which is which is no go. So this is a I call this an A plus because there is the 30 kilometer an hour bike lane, which again can be shared by any other traffic. Gotta look for pedestrians, but I'm cutting that one off. 
So this is a big, busy street. A lot of traffic behind. That taxi is going to come on my right. But everybody can just throw around me, no problem. And where am I? What street am I on? Nice little downhill here. You can see the motorcycles are going wherever they want. And that is not 30 kilometers an hour from that motorcycle. Across here, I'll be looking for the bicycle shadow. Tell me where to go. I cannot go in the bus lane. Oh, here it is. They went over. I can't find the street names. <laughs> so this is an A+. Plus, grade A+, plus, I would call it. Everybody can move. Okay, I'll get a name here. Prado. This is the Paseo del Prado. So this is where the famous museum is. That should be a taxi. Have a red light. This is, I guess, one of the biggest, most famous streets in Madrid. So, again, I'm trying to show a variety of infrastructure. Having that two way cycle track was interesting because that's the first one I've seen after three days of cycling around Madrid. Uh, and it just dumped me out back on the regular street. So all I'm gonna have to hit, one of the things I wanna hit is a Glorietta, the Carlos one. Okay, three. I think this motorcycle's gonna pass me on the right. There he goes, a scooter. Nicely integrated. There are usually advanced stop bars at the uh, traffic signals for bikes. So we're encouraged to put them forward uh, at a red light when the traffic is stopped. There's taxi, bus, and motorcycle. And here I am. In this big, busy street, no problem. By law, controlling the lane. Now, what's happening here? I'm not sure. Why is this bus coming out? No. It looks like a train station. I want to go straight through here. I will have to merge into that if I wanted to make a right turn. Now, now this, if we lose all of the lane lines here, trick is to go slow and let the other traffic figure out where it's going. I would have had to be a little bit further left to get over there, but now I pick up bike lane again. There's the advanced stop space for cyclists. Looks like things are getting busy up here. Looks like I am going to have an intersection with a uh, freeway. Now this guy was not good. I should have been more centered there. Okay, I am not going to go into the freeway. So that's interesting. So the freeway interchange, since it's a tunnel, I don't have the diverting right lane that I have to get out of, as I would in the States. So I just move over to the right, and that's cool. So that makes freeway interchanges a snap to the extent that they're set up like that. And that may be one reason why I have not run into any uh, diverting right lanes. Interesting. I'm sure they must exist. But that goes down. Here comes a woman with, as a pedestrian. 
Secondly, they should not be riding in pedestrian spaces anywhere on the Acero, the sidewalks, or any of the crossings. Okay, we're waiting for the green signal here. Here we go. Up I go. Can't make a left turn. Let me see, I want to make this next left turn. Oh, it's going to be tricky. Not bad. But I can only go straight here. So that wasn't so good. Let me make the next left turn I can. I'm out of the... I, call, I would call that a grade A. Not A plus, this is only one other lane. But can I make a left turn? No. No, because that's one way. So I'm just gonna hang out in the left lane here. I would normally be in the center lane. Yep. Because I want to make a left turn. No, I still can't make a left turn. What is going on here? Okay, here I'll have a left turn possible. Is it going right in here? Okay, let me... This is not that interesting. So I may, I may loop back or go up to the signals I see there. Again, I want to try to stay on the busier streets. This I could share. This is wide enough. There's no reason. I can stay out of the door zone and let the narrow European cars go by me. Now it says up here, 20. Precaution. This is the tenant. Okay, so there is a senior center here. So I think in the presence of seniors, and I am one, 20 kilometers an hour, 12 miles an hour limit. Not sure where I am. Coming across a busier street. I can't make a right, because it's one way. Can I make a left? Yes. Why not? So I'm going to wander around a little bit here. Heavy traffic, it is 8.49 a.m. I'm not sure, that, no, that is a bicycle lane there. Also being used by motorcycles, so that's interesting. I think technically that is a no-no. So I'm going to try that, I haven't seen that before. Where there is an actual bike lane that is not a BC, BC Carril it's not a 30 by train. That's what I'm going to call it. It's really a, a 30 by shared lane. Okay. 53 until. Let's see what this is like. Am I going to be put in the door zone now? No, not too bad. This I have not seen. And there's no buses on this one, apparently. So we'll ride just a little bit. Uh, here we have the left hook, but I do have a advance bike. So I can get out here, which provides some better visibility and protection from a left hook. And which street am I at? I don't know. No street signs, you gotta look on the buildings. And they don't always have it. Yeah, look at the motorcycles using the bike lane. That is interesting. First bike lane I've seen. Interesting. I'm more interested in the 
30 shared bike lanes. Again, I'm watching out for left hooks here and drive outs. All of the things that are a disadvantage on a regular bike lane. Don't come out in front of me. But it's not too bad. Why we don't have a 30 bike lane shared lane? We call it 30 bike shared lane. I don't know. Now we'll see where this goes. This is great. I'm getting all kinds of different infrastructure. The advantage of this now is that I can get by this traffic. Otherwise, I'd be stopped up in it. I'd be stuck in it and I'd have to sit there or lane split. Which I understand is legal only when the traffic is stopped. But now it turns into a 30 shared bike lane. No more parking next to it. And it's making me do a left turn. And what do I get here? I get a car in my way. Oh, I need to get around this. Now, see, it's on the other side now. So I don't want to be on this side. So let's see if I can get over there. I think I already did that section. Nobody too upset. Can I get across? Actually, I want to circle back around, take my bearings. I don't want to go all the way down here. I'm not sure where that's going. Again, wrong way. Because this would be the side to be on if I want to make a left turn, even that it's not a bike lane. Let's see what this is here. Okay, now we have a taxi bus, but no special lanes for me. What grade would they call that? I'm not sure. I guess that's a grade B. So, in a situation like this, prioritized vehicles are not impeded by my presence taxi, bus, motorcycles, but non-prioritized private cars, commercial traffic is, because by law I have to share the lane. So I'm going to try to head back to the Glorieta. There's a DC nut. Okay, we go here. I might try to follow him a little bit, see what he does. Get an idea of how the Madrileños cycle here. He's going down. This is pretty fast for my limited gear range. They're going crazy. I'm going to make maybe a left down there. It looks like a busier street. Maybe catch him if I can. Garrid Exclusivo Bus Taxi Moto. It says motos, right? Yeah. No, he's still down there around the corner. Don't think I can catch him. And that looks like a pretty busy street, so we'll see what that next left down there is like. Oh, I forgot to stop my watch. Damn it. Like. 
I'm not going to get all this right on it. Let's drive it. So many things to remember to do. So I do have a motorcycle behind me. These guys have to yield. Not a single stop sign in Madrid. I'm going to make a left here. This looks like a one way. Now, where is the... So there's nothing here. Why am I getting some kind of a signal? Okay, I gotta pull over and see what's going on. What is chirping at me? It's oh, it's this camera here. I think I'm running out of juice on the uh, Hero. This one. Oh, I've still got some juice left. I'm going to set this off. I might get a car one in the park of you. Oh, here's the street with nothing. Oh, I missed it. this. Let's see what happens. I'm going to have to make a left up here. In 100 meters, turn left onto Paseo de las Galicias. I'm going to go on the Paseo de las Galicias. How am I going to make this left? I don't know. Turn left on the Paseo de las Galicias. Now, where do I go? Shouldn't be riding on the sidewalk. No place to go. I got to get over here. What kind of a speed is this? There's nothing here for me. Oh, yes. There's a bike lane. This could be a challenge. Quickly as I get up for the Glorieta. Climbing up. Now I have the left hook. Possibility. The taxi did not stay out of the bike box.
possibility. Train station should be coming up on my right. And I'm going to the Plaza del Emperador Carlos Cinco. Or Carlos Cinco. And I want to go up on the Prado. Now, that guy moved over. And this does turn into a... Well, let me hang out on this first. Where is this going to take me? Oh, it's going to take me off. That's okay. I'll do that for now. But he just moved that way. Yeah, no, this is not good. It's going to take me back to where I don't want to go. Now I can catch it here. I gotta loop around again. Take the left. Oh, it's over there. Again, I'm on the wrong side. But I did that before. I'm gonna try to make a left, which is hard. Make a left here, hopefully. Nope. Here I can make a left. So now I'm going to do the same thing. I need to get over to the right. That's the same street. Turn left onto the Seo de los Delicias. Okay, so this is that delicious. Whatever's delicious, I don't know. I think I'd be best on the right lane, actually. I may try that. Now I should see where the bike infrastructure leads me. So, back again. And I'm going to have to somehow get on the right up here. Again, the traffic in the bike box and in the even the pedestrian crossing there. That's cool. Straight up Prado, I can probably get in this lane. In 150 meters at the roundabout, take the second exit and stay on Plaza del Emperador Carlos V. No special bus lane here. I'm getting off like the second exit of free. Why do they 
they have their last version of the car. Basically, most of the traffic will be going on the Prado, but let's see how I can wind up in the 30 bike lane. Just let people sort of go where they want to go. It's slow. Okay, now I see what about the motorcycle. This lane should be good here. To the left of, yes, and it is. Not so bad. I should go back around again. But I don't want to go down that way right now. go up this way, go to the north side of town. Well, that was interesting. Of course, having the, the bike lane didn't do me any good to get into the Lurietta. So, how to get out of that? So here I am back on the Prado in a 30 shared bike lane. Ah, there's a cyclist ahead of me. Oh, that's a scooter. Uh, he's not in the center. I'll probably catch up. No, I won't. Traffic swirling all around me. Is a museum on the right. Incredible collection of movements. Also, Polonius Bosch, Goya, Velasquez. Uh, didn't see the Del Greco. That was close. Incredible. The movements are just magnificent, huge in that main exhibition hall. This is a slight uphill. I am moving at 23 kilometers an hour. Why the bus is behind me? It must be a tour bus. Let's see what happens here. Okay, I need to stay there. Yeah, it's a tour bus. Apparently can't use the bus lane. Let's watch how the priority lane stays clear. Motorcycles. Now, why that car is there, I don't know. Vehículo longo. Vehículo longo. Yeah, he. Now he's making a right. There's a taxi. So I'm going to stay on this for a while. And I should do Segovia, where it's one lane going uphill. I call that a class C minus. A grade C minus. There's no way for traffic to get around me and they're slowed down. I have a great view with this big bus in front. A beautiful bus. Yeah, it is kind of sucks. This is where uh, separate infrastructure might be nice. Okay, let's see what lane splitting is like here. Uh, 
All these are in the bicycle priority lane to my right. And they're stopped. I think this is legal. But it is narrow. And I'm dodging uh, side view mirrors. And I am not worried about getting in front of these because uh, that's my bicycle lane, right? Okay, we start to move. Here's an Uber. Now uh, there's a little lane splitting. Here's another guy. I guess he was behind me and two more. Okay, now where's the bike? Plane, I'm not sure. Should be over to the right. Uh, these guys seem to be okay. That's good, I'll get the... Uh... Now, no special lane here? No. Maybe it was on the right side, on the other side of that median. So I'm still on Parado. Stock with traffic. Thinking about lane splitting some more. No, I guess not. I need to find out what's over on the right side. Nothing here. Yeah, I'm going to get over on the right side there, on the service road, and ride that up a little bit. Cycle lane? No, we have. Yes, we do. Put it over here. I'm going to speed by. And I think I'm going to. Oh, I see what's going on. Yeah, I'm not in a great position now, but I'll get here. This guy gave me a gap. I can sneak in here. I'll get behind that. Stop. So if I had stayed right, I would have had my 30 bicycle shared lane. Yep. Oh, this is interesting. Because now we have priority traffic. So this would normally, I would call this a grade B. But we have all of that, so really A plus if you consider the whole roadway here. Or the whole right away this is interesting how cyclists and unprioritized traffic needs to get in front of that there's some kind of a thing oh this is uh central cultural now do i still have my plane i should Right most lane going in my direction of traffic. Am I gonna get the shadow again up here? I don't know. Yeah. yeah that's cool. Very nice. Of course we have double parkers. Now look at the bus is now on the left. Oh this is new. No, the bus is on the left. Interesting new PC Mad. I should see if any of those towers are in. I need to check all the BC Mad to see if they have put the electronics in to make it possible for new users to subscribe. Now what happens here?
looks like we lose a lane. Definitely. But I can move up ahead. I lose traffic. That's cool. I like that. Oh, it is a four-wheeler. Now, which one is the bike priority? It should be the right most, but that's kind of interesting. And this is still the part of Deutsche Bahn. Yeah, we have it back here. I'm going to try a Deutsche Bahn. It's kind of cool. See, there it is again. Extra extracciones de humos de cocinas industriales. Interesante. Okay, I have a 30 shared bike lane. That's what I'm going to call it, I guess. Or just a 30 lane. Uh, I should... I think I mentioned at the beginning... For... In the city, if it's just one lane in a, in a, in a direction, it's 30k nominal... Nominal speed. And if there's two or more lanes, it's 50. Okay, 31 miles an hour. Nominal. Uh, although that seems to be kind of exceeded. This is so nice. Instead of being stuck in some little bike lane or zone like in LA or two-way cycle track, Nearly, you do have to go around the traffic where they're double parked, but that's right. Let this guy come by. So that is a uh, turn or an issue. Oh, I'm on a, under an underpass here. Great separation. Plus it's still on the left. Oh, wow. Okay, so I can move up to the front and get around that. Oh. And I watch the motorcycle on my right. I want to get right in that green. It's right there. So there are certain skills here, taking advantage of the uh, of the advanced stop line for cyclists, which is cool. I don't know if motorcyclists are supposed to use that, however. Let's see where this is going to take me. Oh, there's a hill. Oh, let me try that. Oh, that's going to be some climbing. Do I want to go up there? Yeah. Okay, nothing marked for me here. Yeah, this is, uh, this is tough on two-speed Brompton. But still, I'm controlling the lane. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll get on that. Probably that overpass there. Even if there's no 30 shared bike lane.
They don't like the system. They don't like the bike system. Yet. But we'll see how it goes. Okay, now I guess that's, yeah, that's a, that's a priority for buses and whatever. This would be a class A plus. Prioritized traffic has its lane. Bicycles have a lane. Shared with unprioritized and <laughs> we have traffic on the other side. A lot of lanes. One way. I'm looking, I'm always looking too far. I'm looking at the next light to be on the intersection. And you gotta look up on the side. I should know that from living in France, but it's been a while. Okay, now we can go. Why are they waiting? Now, where am I going? No. Oh, it's taking me home? 14 minutes. Okay. 
that out. I'm going to come up to a roundabout right here. Ah, oh, this is an easy one. Okay. I also get a red light too. Turn right on I'm going at the first exit, Next so no problem. And the bus maintains its priority. As we go around Puerto Real or Puerto de Alcalá, near classical five arch triumphal gateway, gateway to the city. I'm just 10 minutes or 2.8 kilometers. Uh, this is stunning, I think. So I stay on the 30 and I just get out on the first. Oh, look at this. Okay, now you gotta watch that. Here we're gonna pile in. Bus out here. Oh, we're here to go around the sky. ¿Quieres hacer un picnic conmigo aquí, no? Con todo eso posible, no. Sí. <risa> Interesante. Es un buen día. Sí. Pero es eléctrico, ¿eh? Sí. ¿Cuánto, ¿Cuántos kilómetros? ¿Por kilómetros es el día? 90. 90. Es bastante para todo el día, sí. Sí, ¿no? Bueno, eh, ¿La velocidad máxima? No, está limitada a 30. ¿30? No pasa. Ah, ok. ¿Pero hay un faro? No. Asistencia con los pedales solamente. No hay... Ajá. Ok, bueno. Más rápido que, que yo. ¿Es de América? Sí, Los Ángeles. Los Ángeles. Los Ángeles. California. Hollywood! Okay, now I gotta get back out of this way. here and see what this is all about. Where am I? This is... Oh, I need to move over to the right. No, because I want to go straight. I'm going straight. So I should get the Treta over here. Again, I could filter. That is green already. Probably best to filter at the beginning of the red signal. Yep, I got my train to 30. So that's interesting. He said that his was limited to 30 mile, uh, kilometers an hour, but only pedal assistance. 
And I thought it was 25. I'm gonna to have to ask some others. Now here, here, for the stock. What street is this? I don't know. Now why does it say taxi here? It shouldn't be taxi here. I'm confused as to where I am. Okay, I think I'm gonna put a filter in next to a bus is no fun. Uh, so with cars, it'd be easy. And now I get the diesel. I'm by LA where we have nice to get. And I'm going to get ahead of me. Am I in the bus lane? No, that's the bus lane. So why isn't he over there? Because he's making a left turn. La familia hay que cuidarla. Oh, look at that. You have to take care of families. In collaboration con Utana. This is Zulu Prairie in Madrid. We share our DNA 97% with the apes. Jorge de su hogar 100%. Your home, 100. percent I don't get that. Okay. Oh, it's over that. But this is a bike bus. Oh, both. This. Oh, this is for turning right. And I'm going straight. So I am going to filter here. No place to turn right. Oh, I see. This is going to go. Okay. I'm going to stay on the traffic here. Because right, I'm coming up to the... Uh, this is a pedestrian walk. Yeah, that looks like... It looks like that is that I don't need to. I don't want to go that way. I want to go on Sevilla. So I'm going to wait for the green. Look out here. Is that going straight? Yeah, he's going straight. That's good. I didn't do that right. Okay. Where are they going? No, I went up the wrong way. Which street is that? I want to get back on that one because that looks like a real street. And that will be a different type. But it, it looks pedestrianized to some extent. Look at this architecture. <laughs> so let me see what we have here. This is going to go on to pedestrian space for sure. Yeah, this looks like La Puerto de, del Sol, where I started. It looks like I'm still filming with the big uh, camera there. I should plug them both in, if that's possible. Yeah. Turn right on the Puerto del Sol, then continue on the I'm going to get this off of here. Yes, it's Trixie.com. Trixie.com. They're not, they're not electric. Okay, I gotta go to Trixie.com. Uh, just a comment on 
the attitude. It's it's sort of a of motorists and police towards rules and respecting pedestrians and bicyclists. It's pretty good. Uh, and by that I mean, oh, am I going to get my one-way bike? Yes, I think I am. I haven't been on this before. Yeah, so this is new. This is the counter flow. Oh, but it says I can't go, but I can't accept the BCs. BCs, I am a BC. This is cool. So they get the whole lane going downhill. And I get the little one going uphill more slowly. So this is a grade A in the sense that I'm not getting in anybody's way here. Because it's my own. How is this going to work? Does it continue? I think so. Yeah, it does. So they just have to know that I'm coming at them. They should yield to me. Thank you. This is cool. Yeah, I was trying to say that they don't respect the speed limit, but they don't get upset if I'm in front of them at 20 kilometers an hour. The pedestrians will cross when it's red, if there's no traffic, uh, no problem. And for the most part, uh, drivers will stop for pedestrians at unsignalized crossings and go for the most part. So there's a pragmatism here. There are rules and nobody bothers me riding the bike in a pedestrian space as I'm going slow and uh, yielding to all pedestrians. Although legally it's not allowed. I think it's a pretty nice balance uh, as opposed to like the Swiss where if you step out into a crosswalk on a red signal for pedestrians, you know, they want to put you in jail. Uh, or perhaps the Germans too. So it's sort of cool. Okay, I gotta make a left turn. Okay, by then, which is right here. Wow, this is so nice. Now, why do I have a green light here? I'm confused. I tried. I gotta look close. I gotta look here. If I don't figure that out, I keep looking across the intersection. God damn. Instead of looking near side. Near side. That's where I am. I'm looking at the green light. To have it. Near side. Come on, Gary. You're smart enough to figure that out. Now, how am I going to get that left? Looking at the near side, man. Not the far side, the near side. Hey, I see that green and I go, wow, all right, I can go. That's where it would be in the state. No, I can't go. It's right here. So you don't need all these arrows. If you get the control from the near side. That's weird. Okay, now it's green. So maybe that means I'm protected left. I guess so. Without a green arrow. Okay, so here I'm back on the... Train that. Make that left turn. There's a left turn up here. This is my neighborhood now, a very close. Well, it's coming up soon, so I'm going to have to get in that left lane. Right here. I'm going to make a left turn right here. Can I do that? 
I'm gonna go. I don't know if that was legal. Good work. Very good. I should have some great, great video. Getting my brain spiegeled out here. It's gotta be down here. Hanging on my brakes. Is it you? I haven't seen the stop sign yet. This way. Turn right on the Calle de la Moria, Plaza de la Moria, then I'm your down. destination will be on the left. No, I want to go this way. Your destination is on the left. Okay, I'm going to go the wrong way. Okay, this is... Here you go. And this is where I am. Alright. Great. Absolutely great. Okay, so that's the morning. I didn't stop my time until about a third of the way through. I say 9.6 kilometers, one hour 31. It's now 10.28. My heart rate is 89. Anybody's interested. Okay, so that is integrated type of in my grid. Put down on it. That's the oh, percent, so it does run off the battery. That's good to know. Okay, I think I'll take that off. <laughs> 